Hello. We are going to be today taking We Can, our book We Can for, for fifth graders. Are you ready, fifth graders? Yes, let's start. Today we're going to be taking our lesson number three in unit three, My House. So we're going to continue our unit, My House, lesson number three. What are we going to take today? Today we're going to take Fun Time and Phonics. Fun Time and Phonics. So we're going to have fun in our lesson fun time, and we're going to learn new sounds in phonics. I would like you to prepare your books on pages 23 and 24. Pages 23 and 24, please. What are you going to be able to do at the end of our uh, uh, class or our lesson? You are going to be able to do or play the two hands game. So you're going to use your hands to play a game showing the meanings of the prepositions we learned before. I think you're going to have fun in this part. And also, you're going to be able to say the spelling of the two or three letter words. For example, box, hot, fun, sun, and so on. So, you're going to say, I can play the two hands game. I can say the spelling of the two, three letter words, box, hot, fun, and sun. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's start with this. We're going to learn how to use our hands, so you're going to be using your hands, to show the meaning of the prepositions. First, you're going to show me on, in, under, next to, and behind. Let's do it together, okay? Let's practice it first together. How do you show the meaning of on? You're going to use your hands, your two hands. How do you show the meaning of on? You're going to do like this, on, on. How do you show the meaning of in? In, in. How do you show the meaning of under? Under, under. How do you show the meaning of next to? Next to. How do you show the meaning of behind? Behind, like this. Are you ready? Let's listen. Let's listen to it and... Are you ready? Let's start. On, in, under, next to, behind. On... Sorry. Okay, we're going to go back to it again. I'm going to have you listen to it again so that you can do it on your own, okay? Are you ready? Let's start. On, in, under, next to, behind. On, in, under, next to, behind. On, in, under, next to, behind. Okay, good. Let's play it for real. Okay, so I want you now to play it with me. I'm going to say the, na the word and you're going to do the action. Ready? Number one, on. Use your hands. Perfect. In. Yes, excellent. Under. Very good. Next to, excellent. Behind, well done, great job. Okay, now we're gonna move to phonics. I want you now to go to page 24, please. Go to page 24. We're gonna learn two sounds, two short sounds. The sound of O in box, ox, on, not, dot, pot, Fox, top, hop. You see how I said the O? It's the short f sound of the O. Your mouth is going to be open like, like the shape of the O, and the sound is going to come from the back of your mouth. Say it again. Box, excellent. Ox, excellent. On, very well. Not, good. Dot, perfect. Pot, good. Fox, very good. Top, good. Hop, 
Well done. Also, we're going to say the sound of the U, and it's going to be the short U. Like what? Like fun, under, sun, run, not. Uh, sorry, nut. Not, not, not. Cut and cup. So the sound here is the, your mouth is not round, it's just a little bit open, and uh, it's a very short sound. It's like ah, uh, ah, uh, fun, under, sun. Also, it comes from the back of your mouth. Let's see. So here, the short O sound. Look at the mouth. The mouth is the shape of, like it's the shape of the O. And the sound comes from the back of the mouth, okay? So you say ox, ox. This is the ox. What is an ox? It's the male of the cow. So the cow is the female, and the ox, or the ox, is the male. It's a strong animal, right? Also hear the sound of the U. It's like ah, uh, ah. Uh. The mouth is open, but not very much, just a little bit. And the sound comes from the back of the mouth. And it's like in the sound of umbrella, umbrella. You see this colorful umbrella? When do we use it? When it's raining or when it's too much sun? You use the umbrella, umbrella, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So the U sound is ah. Uh, the O sound is ah, uh, OK? Now we're going to have a short story. I think you're going to like this story. It's a short, nice story about the ox. Excellent. It's about the ox. So it's the ox story. What are we going to do? We're going to read and color the O and U. So I would like you to color. You see, he left the O and U for you without color. You can choose your, the, your favorite color and color the letters. Use one color for O and one color for you, if you like. OK, it would be better. So you're going to read and color the O and U, the A uh sound and the A uh sound. Uh, let's listen to the story. The Ox Story. Did you read it yourself? Let's check your reading. An ox sat on a box. He had fun in the sun. He was hot. He sat under a tree. Then he was not hot. An ox sat on a box. He had fun in the sun. He was hot. He sat under a tree. Then he was not hot. OK. You like the story? So what happened to the ox in the story? An ox sat on a box. And then he had fun in the sun. You see, we're using the prepositions. We used on, we used in, we used under, right? So the ox first sat on a box. And then he had fun in the sun. What happened after that? He was hot. So what did he do? He sat under a tree. He moved to sit under the tree. Then he was not hot. He was happy again. You like the story? So how many O's are you going to color? One, two, three, yes, four, five, six. So you're, you're going to color the Six O's, you can choose, for example, red for the O, and then U, one, two, three, and three U's. So the number of the O's is double the numbers of the U's, right? So let's say the words again. Ox, on, box, hot, not hot. And then we have here, fun, sun, under. Good? Okay. Now we're going to move to something else. We're going to listen and spell. Listen and spell. So, number one, how do you spell ox? How do you spell ox? Can you spell it for me? Very good. O-X. O 
X, perfect. How do you spell box? How do you spell box? Can you spell box for me? Perfect. B O X. How do you spell fun? How do you spell fun? Perfect. P, oh, sorry, F U N. Great. How do you spell sun? How do you spell sun? Good. S U N. How do you spell hot? How do you spell hot? Nice. H O T. H O T. How do you spell not? How do you spell not? Good job. N O T. So, ox, O X, ox. Box, B O X, box. Fun, F U N, fun. Sun, S U N, sun. Hot, H O T, hot. Not, N O T, not. Easy, right? I would like you to close your eyes and do it on your own. Challenge yourself and see if you can do it on your own. Okay? Good. Now let's go to our workbooks. We're going to have page 84. So please open your books on page 84. We're going to start with exercise number one on page 84 in the workbook. Listen and play. So more fun. We're going to have more fun now. I'm going to say the word and you are going to act it. Are you ready? Are your hands ready? Let's start. Number one, on. Good. You did this, this uh, shape with your hands? Perfect. In. Excellent. Under. Great job. Next two. Well done. Behind. Good job. Very good. You like this game, right? Play it again and again with your family and your friends. It's a nice game. Okay, now we are going to listen and practice and then trace. So don't forget to trace. First, listen and practice and then trace. What does trace mean? It means write again on the words. The words are already written for you in light color. Use your pen, your pencil, or even your colors to trace the words. The words are the words we, we took today and we took even in the last lesson. They are the prepositions. Okay? So we're going to start with number one. What do you see in number one? I see a chair. Do you see something else? Oh, yes. You see a mouse. Where's the mouse? Good. It's on the chair. So the mouse is on the chair. What is the word I need to trace? On. Perfect. Excellent. So trace the word on. Number two. Is there a mouse here? I can't see it. Can you see it? Very good. There it is. Yes, it's in the cupboard. So the mouse is in. Here the mouse is in the cupboard. Spell in. I-N. Trace in. Write on it. With your pen or with your pencil. Number three. What do you see here? What is this? Good. This is a bed. Is there a mouse? Where is the mouse? Right. It's hiding here. Where? Under the bed. Under. Very good. So what are you going to do? You're going to trace the word under. Trace the word under. Well done. Number four. Again and again we have the mouse. Where is it now? Yes. It's behind the table. It's behind the table. B-E-H-I-N-D, behind. Don't forget to trace the word. The last one, again we have the mouse, but here the mouse is in the kitchen where? Next to the fridge. It's next to the fridge. Next to. Trace the word, next to. After you finish tracing, you are going to, uh, your uh, homework is going to look like this. Yes. So you see, here we traced on, in, under, behind, 
next to. Did you do that? Excellent, you deserve a star. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go to page 85. Page 85. Number one, listen and spell and then copy. So you have three things to do. Listen, spell, copy. Okay, let's start with the listening. Ox, ox. Okay, spell. O, X. Perfect. Box, box. Spell it. B, O, X. Perfect. Excellent. Three, fun, fun. Spell the word. F, U, N. Great. Sun, sun. Spell the word. S, U, N. Great. Hot, hot. How do you spell hot? H, O, T. I like that. Not. Spell not. N, O, T. Great job. What are you going to do then? Copy the words. Where? On the uh, lines that the, or the spaces left for you here under each number. So here you're going to write ox. Here you're going to write box. Here you're going to write fun. And so on. Number two. Write the two words in each house. So we have how many houses here? Three words. H uh, three houses, sorry. So we have one, two, three houses. He wants you to write how many words? Two words. One, two. The first word has to end with the O-T. So your word must have the O-T at the end. How many letters do you need to add? Only one. Think of a word that ends with O-T. Excellent. Hot. I can choose hot. What else? Not. Perfect. I can choose not. Good. Do you have other examples in your mind? Dot. Very good. Pot. Excellent. You can use any of the words that you know. Number two, we would like you to write two words that end with U, N. U, N. Can you think of words that end with U, N? Un. Like what? Sun would be a great example. Fun, good. Or you can say what? You can like use bun, okay? Or other words that end with U, N. Number three, we have ox. Ox. Do you think, can you think of a word that ends with ox? Of course, box is the first word that will come to your mind. Box. What else? Can you think of another word that ends with ox? Right, fox, good, the animal, the one you know that has many stories, fox, excellent. So you can use it, use any word you like and write it in the space. This is how your uh, book should look after you finish. So you're going to write the word ox, copy it here, copy the spelling here, copy the word box, copy the spelling, copy fun and copy the spelling and so on. So do the same as I did here. You can use the, your favorite colors or use a pencil. It's up to you. Here, as you see, I chose dot and not. Here, what did I choose? I chose sun and run. Can you change? Yes, you can, as long as the word ends with U, N. Fox, ox. You can write box. You can write any word you like, okay? As long as it ends with O, X. If you're done and you did it well, then you deserve a star. Thank you very much and goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.